All right, so hopefully y'all are ready for another Air Pro video. We're gonna do two Air Pro flights back to back, two days in a row. Um, this pretty much gonna be the same flight that I posted in yesterday's video. Let me go ahead and switch to uh, cruise mode. Fly by wire A, cruise. And you see we're getting bumped around quite a bit. It's still a little bit windy. Um, not quite as windy as it was yesterday, but it's definitely rougher air. We're flying a little bit earlier in the day. But I'm going to start gaining some altitude and try to get up into some smoother air. Hopefully just to calm things down a little bit. And uh, maybe even benefit from some tailwind trying to push us out towards town where we'll start flying back up the river. Um, so... The reason I want to refly this is, like I said yesterday, I've played around with some of the uh, manual settings in the Runcam Thumb Pro, and the video was totally unusable. I put a little note on the screen while I was kind of talking about that a little bit yesterday. Um, so I wanted to redo that flight again today with the uh, settings back on auto, and basically, basically all I changed, I changed the uh, ISO and shutter speed both back to auto. And we'll just go with that, let it do its thing. Um, and you might notice I also have an updated image of the AR Pro. I kind of joked, I said I needed to get a new one. An updated one showing the current camera setup with the Runcam Thumb Pro in the nose instead of the uh, Runcam HD2 4K that was mounted on the top of the other hatch. I'm running the, the normal smooth hatch with a little air intake. And have the thumb pro mounted up in the HD bay in the nose. So I just I went ahead and grabbed an updated image of that just to uh, show it here. But you see we have a little bit less wind actually up here than we did down low. It's showing like 3 miles an hour rather than like 6. So that will be a little bit better on the way back up the river. We won't have to fight that, that strong wind like we were fighting yesterday. Like what was it like 15 to 18 miles an hour somewhere in that range. And hopefully we'll get some HD video this time. So um, we're probably going to, uh, once we get to town up here, I'll go ahead and switch back over to the HD. I'll put that, I'll just, you know, I'll switch over from this, this scene that we have right now. And then I'll, well, I'll actually just overlay the HD when I'm doing the edit. But like that, we'll still have any kind of narration or whatever. But I really don't have a lot to talk about because I kind of explained everything I was doing yesterday. In the previous video, the one I'm guessing I'll probably get this uploaded tonight. If not, it'll be within a couple of days. But it definitely will be the previous video to this one. If you want to look back and see what I was talking about, we basically did this same flight. We flew out right here towards town and just kind of started at the bridges and flew back up the river and then turned and flew home. And the whole point of that flight was to get some HD video from the Thumb Pro just to play around with it and see if I could get a nice little clip of stabilized video flying up the river like that. And it turned out those manual settings that I used kind of ruined that. So we're just going to repeat it today. And as you can see, we do have a nice clear skies today and not a whole lot of wind. It's a little bit rough, but that's more or less because we're flying earlier in the day. Um, I say earlier in the day, it's actually like 4.30 p.m. right now. It'll be dark in about an hour, and it should take me about a half hour to do this flight, maybe a little bit less. But uh, hopefully that'll work a little bit in my favor as far as getting some decent video. It won't be as dark by the time we get to the end of the part that I want it to record. So uh, we're coming up on the river now, so I guess we're going to be switching over to the HD recording here in just a bit and uh, hopefully it's enjoyable so I'll see you all for the landing toward the end
All right, so I probably ended up cutting some of that return trip out. I'll probably do that when I edit this video. So I uh, saved you some of the boredom. We basically just flew up the river like we wanted, and we kind of flew up that little side channel a bit and explored that for just a minute. And then we uh, kind of flew back down the river just a bit just because the nice reflection of the sun looked nice in the water. So I wanted to get a little bit of that on the HD camera. And then I just kind of shot out across the wooded areas and flew back home. So now you can see we're setting up a landing now. We're going to go ahead and land into the sun just because it didn't really matter. This crosswind either way. And uh, just get the airplane back down a little bit quicker right here. Try to make a nice smooth landing like so. And then we'll go to manual. And we will disarm and cue ground control. I'll do that here. So that's going to be the end of the flight and hopefully it was enjoyable and the AC video comes out good, but you'll already know that by now if you're watching this. So I'm not sure what we'll do next, but we do have a little bit of rain and wind coming up for the next few days and then most of the next week. So probably won't be anything right away, but whenever we get to fly again, I'll see you all then. Questions, comments go below the, below the video as always. And thank you for watching this one. Thank you to all the channel members and Patreon pledges who contribute to the channel and make a monetary contribution to keep it going. So big thanks to all of you and to everyone else that watches and likes, comments, dislikes, all that good stuff. Share whatever you want to do. I'll see you all next time.